So hi, my name is Kujo. Today I wanted to sit down and just talk about journaling in general. There's many ways to journal, but I'm just talking about the generic write down your thoughts and do a journal that you keep. Journaling is a habit that I've kept since the beginning of 2020, I believe, when the whole pandemic happened. And also making these commentary videos is a form of journaling for me. There's a lot that journaling I think can do for an individual, uh, but I'm gonna just talk about my experience and I would love to hear what people have to say about it in the comments. If you do journal, just tell me about how you feel about journaling. But the reason I love journaling is it allows me to sit down and work through thoughts that I've had throughout the day. I've used multiple different processes. The process I'm using right now is I journal once in the morning and I fill out a page and then I flip the page and then I journal at night. The reason I do this is I kind of practice gratitude in the morning, I talk about what I want to get out of my day, and then I write during the night to reflect on the day, and then I compare between the two differences in the day to see if it ended up being something that I wanted to do, or if I was pleasantly surprised. Basically just for information to look back on. Journaling itself is a really good habit and can help you work through emotions. I think something that's kind of overlooked though is the value you can get from reading older journals that you have and not in like a sentimental sense like reflecting on the good old days but almost in a purely analytical sense like one of the most valuable practices i think you can do is if you take a journal you have three months prior to when you were writing in the journal you look at what you were writing down without any emotional attachment it becomes very glaringly obvious the mental loops that you have whether they're positive or negative. Like for instance, I looked at my journal from three months ago and I was extremely grateful. And I still am really grateful. It's not calling myself out. <laughs> but I noticed that I would have a lot of adversity through my days, but I would be grateful for both the opportunity to face the adversity and the adversity itself. But if you read from three months prior to when you're currently writing to onwards, you can see the mental process that you've had that's led you up to the point of where you're at. So for me, journaling is extremely valuable because I get to look at my own weaknesses without like an emotional bias to what I just wrote like the week before or anything like that. Because I simply just don't remember the exact things that I wrote three months ago. That's not the point of journaling. Also, if you ever feel like you're stuck in life, if you look at a journal from like a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. A lot of the time with change, you don't feel it instantly. I've changed a lot over the past few years and revisiting older journals that I had, especially from three years ago, my whole mental process is completely different. I used to be someone who was really out of shape and then used video games to cope a lot in life. And for me, just journaling and meditation has led to me slowly implementing really good healthy coping mechanisms for my life and good hobbies and everything around me is just like amazing and I think sometimes along my journey I can forget how far I've come from giving all of my personal control over my life away to other people and circumstances to where now I've completely regained that sense of control but uh I, yeah I just wanted to say that journaling I think is it's the main component of that. You can use a journal for workouts, you can use a journal for meals. For me personally, I'm only doing it for my thoughts right now. I have a Fitbit and I use a Fitbit app to monitor like my calories and my workouts and stuff. And I also use another app for monitoring my weightlifting workouts. But yeah, like I said, multiple methods. If you don't have a method to journal and you would like a method to journal, I'm gonna give one to you right now, which is gonna be very simple and the one that I talked about towards the beginning of this video. When you wake up in the morning, do whatever you need to do, but if you don't feel like doing anything, just go straight to a journal and just write down what you have planned for the day, how you feel the day is going to go, any loose thoughts you're having in the morning, and just fill out a page. Don't think too hard about it, just any thoughts that come. And then, when you're getting ready for bed, you do your nightly routine, or if you have no routine, that's totally fine. Just take the journal, and then write down how you think your day went the same type of way you write down what you did how you feel about what you did and any loose thoughts if you really feel like it you can also write about how tomorrow is going to go if you're able to consistently do this and you reflect on your journal you'll notice patterns in your thinking it gives you information this is one of my favorite things to do and you don't have to use a physical journal to me even like this youtube channel is kind of an auditorial way for me to journal and sometimes I like to go back and visit older videos that I made to see what I was thinking. 
at the time. There's been times I've listened to old commentaries that I've done that helped a future time me out that I'd completely forgot about the information and was reminded about it. So yeah, just be the author of your own life. If you can't do a full page, just do like a tiny bit. Only journal for like five minutes. The whole point of it is not to be something that's like tacked onto your schedule, like another additional thing to do. It's just like a moment of clarity and introspection that you have with yourself. I'll have to make another video talking about this, but when I also read books, I write down in a separate notebook a summary of like the portions of the book that I read while I'm reading the book because I feel like the act of writing itself is a good way to retain a thought in your mind and you hold on to the knowledge. I feel like my brain just memorizes it a lot more when I hold the knowledge in my head and I'm trying to articulate it into like a shortened paragraph of a section of a book. I mean that's my whole tactic. I'll have to maybe make a video talking about it in depth but anyway that's the value of journaling for me i'm probably about two-thirds of the way done with my main video that i'm working on super stoked for it i'm also kind of sad for when i do finish it because i'm having so much fun making the video but if you're a fan of the channel it's on tears of the kingdom so i'm super stoked for it a book that i just finished is called essentialism and i think that that might be the next commentary video that i talk about when i say thank i it is most Definitely, I am probably going to talk about that because that is a very rich book. But anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope this convinces you to try journaling at least, if you're not already. And if you do, let me know your journaling tactics, what you do with your journal. But yeah, I love you, thank you for watching, and goodbye now.